sideways option trading strategies. This is where you're gonna learn many different trading strategies that you can use to profit in those periods of consolidation, also known as your range bound markets or a sideways market, which does occur nearly 50% of the time in the market. So when you got your trends half the time, the other half, you gotta learn how to allocate these sideways trading strategies. So in this module, you're gonna learn how to buy an at the money call calendar or put calendar spread. At the money, there was a keyword there. Also selling an iron condor and how to leg into an iron condor and some of the methodology behind doing so. You're also gonna learn how to sell a straddle and a strangle and really understand the butterfly spread and buying that and how that works. So just like in the bullish and the bearish sections, you're gonna understand how to best utilize these different sideways trading strategies that's suited for you, your risk tolerance, and make it work for you no matter what. So don't let this happen to you that no one you can't profit in a sideways market. That's absolutely incorrect. This is where you get the knowledge, the education, and the wherewithal to trade in any market trend to finish off the trading strategies. So let's go ahead and jump into the first part. The short iron condor is a spread trade that is made up of both a bull put spread and a bear call spread that works extremely well in sideways and slow trending markets. So it's a really effective, very intuitive way to trade with a positive theta aspect for income production in a sideways trending market. These trades, they're dynamic. The delta is gonna fluctuate as the underlying security trades in that range between your sold bear call and your bull put spread. These strategies, they can be used for longer periods of time, but they're going to be best suited to work in a 30 to 60 day time period. You look at the sold strike price on both your call side and your put side. So the call side is going to be the bear call we're selling, which is up here. And you can see that corresponding down here, the 1290, 1300 call, the 1290 is right here. All I'm doing to get my break even is I'm adding what I receive, which is my credit of $3.40 onto that 1290 strike to give me a break even of 1293.40. But it's important to stay on top of the option Greeks with this scenario because any modification that you need to do, you need to know how to take them off. When you leg into an iron condor, it's a very powerful strategy and it works something like this. It's the act of selling one half or one part of the total iron condor first to increase your total net credit while also increasing your probability for success by using some more advanced technical insight. I've had an iron condor on the Russell 2000 ticker symbol RU for the last month and today is expiration Thursday I had a 90% chance that this trade this two-part iron condor trade was gonna expire worthless I was in a sweet spot a couple weeks ago and it was doing very well it's still doing pretty well but today we had a very large breakout to the upside over a 1% move almost a 20 point move on the Russell 2000 index and now my upper bear call part of the iron condor trade is being threatened I sold a 1290 1300 bear call spread up there. What has happened now is very unique. I knew better holding into this and a majority of the time I take off these trades well before expiration and what happens when you hold these positions close into your expiration date then you can really get taken advantage of to be honest with you. It's knowing your risk and do you want to take that chance for an extra couple hundred dollars to get the max net credit and realization on the trade. Selling a straddle works best when the implied volatility is high because this is going to acquire to selling for rich premiums. When you're selling a straddle, this is the simultaneous sale of an at the money call and an at the money put. A lot of times you're gonna buy these back before expiration for a much lower debit. Buying power can and more than likely will fluctuate as you see those drastic changes up or down. The whole goal of this trade is for it to stay at the sweet spot at that 50 strike price. Whatever you sell is gonna be your max profit point. And if it stays in that range, every day that passes your theta will increase as you get close closer and closer to expiration. Make sure that these are both selected, the right strike prices. As you can see here, the call and the put. The risk is technically infinite. This is an undefined trade. It's still a smart trade because we are looking at options that are expiring very fast and we understand how to use technical analysis and also the probabilities that are embedded in the option chains to understand the likelihood of it staying within a range. As we can see here, short strangles are basically selling an uncovered iron condor. 
Condor. The Strangle is the simultaneous sale of an out of money call and an out of money put, different strike prices in the same expiration months. The max profit point is gonna be the range between the sold call and the sold put. With the Short Strangle, you have more of a level of your max profit, so it's more similar to the Iron Condor, except that it's undefined. Your, your bell curve is showing you a line that's continually going lower and lower and lower for a loss on the downside and the upside as it goes away from your zone that you wanted to stay inside of. You always want to make sure that when you're selling a strangle or even a straddle for that matter that you're in a sideways range bound market. This positive theta on these non-trading days you're making money. That's something that's going to continue churning in your account for you. What you want to do now is you have this trade already queued up and start moving this along with it. You can see what the overall changes as a whole. The way this makes money is as the credit shrinks that means we're making Making money. We want to buy that back for 20 cents or 30 cents or 50 cents and maintain as much of that credit as possible. And butterfly spread is a three-legged trade. It's a defined risk strategy that works best in channeling markets and it's a combination of bull and bear spreads embedded into one made up of three different strike prices. There's two types of long butterfly spreads. You have a long call butterfly and a long put butterfly. It's important to understand how wide the profit zone is on the wings of the trade because butterfly have wings that create profit zones similar to the iron condor you have that lower out of the pocket expense with that smaller debit up front having the ability to make these nice very handsome returns in a relatively short amount of time you have the wings down here which are your max loss zones you have your break evens right there and your max profit zone is going to be your sold strike price which is the 125 the first one that you learned in this module was buying an at the money calendar spread sell an iron condor sell a straddle sell a strength by a butterfly spread. Now you've learned all these different strategies, it's time for you to test it. Test it, practice it, master it, remaster it, and continue to grow and prosper and utilize these strategies to have success in any market trend.